protesters under the ages of Ejoy Youth Council, Lagos State Chapter, have stormed down college to resist the reopening of the school. Now, the chairman of the IYC insisted the college must remain shut and protests continue until justice is served. Our correspondent Paul Judge was there and now reports. <laughs> The case of Sylvester Oromoni's death is far from over after five members of staff and five students of Doen College who were accused of complicity in his death were exonerated by the Lagos State Department of Public Prosecution on Tuesday. Leading this peaceful protest at the school, Chairman of Ijo Youth Council Lagos Chapter, Comrade Henry Oyobolo, demanded justice. He insisted that the Egyptian nation would not accept what he described as high level of wickedness. This is the first time in this country I'm hearing a case that has been charged to court. Suspects have been granted bail. The police says they are investigating the matter. On a Christmas Day, New Year Day, was night and New Year on the weekend in their house. Because they believe that there's children involved, like children of senators, ministers, who they are above the law. They judged the case in the, they judged the case in their bedroom and they brought out a statement. We came here for a peaceful protest to tell the people that we don't want that there to be breakdown of law order in this environment. But if they try us, the generation will have the capacity to handle it. For this case, we are saying that if they open this school, you will see young men, young women, young children. They will buy school bags, they will buy school shoes, they will buy sandal. They'll pay water bottle. We'll bring a job to cooking stash and also be in front of the school. We'll be going for uh, classes. If they don't want that, if the police like, let them put armor tanker there. Yeah. Let them put up two armor tanker. Let them put, let every one army, let police be guiding one child. Justice must prevail. While dismissing the report of the DPP, the IYC appealed to President Mamadou Buhari and the National Assembly to intervene until justice is seen to have been served. On behalf of the John Nation, we will resist the opening of this school with everything we have. When this thing happened, we do not react. We said we want justice. That's why we sat down and folded our hands. We only said, hand over the suspects to the police, to the judiciary to do for justice to prevail. But since they are not taking the back door, they want to rob us of justice. Our son, let civil ceremony, cannot die in vain. It's not possible. He's an just son. We value our own. He cannot die in vain. Nigerians are waiting with bated breath to see if the protests will continue and if the Oromonies can get closure. Paul George for Plus TV Africa. All right, we have joining us live Henry Oyebolo, chairman of the Ijo Youth Council, uh, Lagos chapter. Uh, Comrade, many thanks for joining us on the news now on Plus TV Africa. All right, uh, can you tell us more about your concerns, uh, specifically about the report released by the Department of Public uh, Prosecutions? Uh, uh, you mentioned something in the report we just wrote that uh, they are taking the back door. Can you tell us more about your concerns? Yes, uh, once again, thank you for having me. Uh, what we're saying, they are taking the back door. How can you judge a matter on a Saturday a Sunday, on a Christmas day, New Year day, and the second of January, you bring out the verdict. We are not fools in this country. We cannot be taken for granted. Justice must be done. Let to rest our women in June must get justice. They should never try to open that school if they don't want to see the wrath of the donation. All right, let's talk more now, comrade. In a statement uh, that you released that uh, Plus TV Africa had access to, uh, you, uh, you informed that um, all suspects and the conspirators uh, uh, will surely, uh, you will not stop until uh, you ensure that, uh, you know, your nation get, uh, you know, justice. But specifically, now you were saying that uh, there are conspirators. Are you saying that there is some sort of uh, maybe foul play? Because in some quarters, uh, people are saying that uh, this is a case of um, the high trying to, you know, tamper with um, justice in the country. Do you agree? What we are saying there is that those five suspects cannot commit that crime Without people seeing them. 
they are outsmarters in that school. They are still they are cast in that garden house. There are people that say this thing. So the things they kept quiet when somebody's mother, they are up, they are they are older than a better a crime. They are also liable to take justice. That's why I mean that the conspiracy still cannot go unpunished. Because if you see a child here or being killed in cold blood and you keep quiet, you are worse than the murderer. That's what we mean that they, we, we must get justice. We will use the law. We will use everything under the law to get justice. But if they want it the other way, the generation is still capable. We can, we can match them. Every single day we can match them. Okay, when you say you can match them, anything they want to do, let us really understand you. But then again, how long do you intend to sustain this protest? That because from the video um, uh, we just watched, that you said that you're going to get um, all uh, Ijo members. You even said that uh, you might even come start leaving there if um, justice is not actually you know seen to have been done you know by the uh, government for the family of uh, the Romani. Uh, well, what exactly? Uh, how long would this protest uh, be? Be going on around that particular school. Uh, the protest will continue until we get justice for just for late civic ceremony. It doesn't matter whether it's ten years. It ceremony matter is a joint nation matter. We value our people. We don't play with our sons and daughters. If it takes us five years, we will stand with them. Take us ten years. We but any form of intimidation by from any security agencies, the joint nation have the capacity to to match them force for force. I repeat it, force for force. If you follow the legal means, we will follow the legal means. But if you want to intimidate us, they will meet we are well prepared for them. But then, are you confident uh, of the fact that uh, you will indeed uh, get justice, judging by the fact that uh, uh, this uh, DPP's, uh, you know, report has been described as hasty, you know, by the legal representation of um, the Oromonies? Uh, from what happened from the DPP, show that justice can be bought. The data of that DPP has embarrassed that department, a case magistrate is handling. The students are on bail. The police is investigating the matter. The deputy now said they should hand off. Read that statement. They should hand off from that the school and the students does not have any hand in the death of Rumani. That means it is spirit that beats him to death. It is spirit that gave him the chemical to drink. We will not accept it. All right, thank we you so much. We will never accept it. Most of the generation we will not accept it. We must get justice. All right. They should not try us by opening that school. All right, thank we will you bring so much. 40 buses. Let me tell you, 40 buses of people to come and join them in that school. 40. I'm giving you, you will count the buses. 40. They will open the door, they will enter the school. They will sit down, they will be, they will be, they will them in class. All right, thank you. Uh, indeed, we have been speaking with um, Henry Oyobolo. Thank he you. is um, the chairman of the Ijo Youth um, Council, Lagos. Uh, you know, taking a stand as regards, uh, you know, the killing of uh, Sylvester, who died uh, sometime last year. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.